Last week, I began my listening journey of listening to My Chemical Romance for the first time, where we listened to Na Na Na, I'm Not Okay, I Promise, and Helena, or Helena, or Helena. Apparently, there's three different ways to pronounce that name. But if you notice, none of those songs were from the Welcome to the Black Parade album. So I asked you guys in the comment down below of what three songs off of Black Parade I should listen to, to where I've got an overwhelming amount of responses with a lot of people saying three songs in particular, House of Wolves, Sleep, and Mama. So that's where we're going to be listening to today. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope we're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. Welcome back to me listening to MCR for the first time, part two for the Justin Listens To series, where I listen to artists I've never listened to before for the very first time and or explore their discography deeper. I guess kind of like what I'm doing in this episode. In case you missed part one, I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below. And if you enjoy this type of content, maybe consider donating to the channel's Ko-Fi. Links down in the description box below. Buy the boy a coffee. Keep the boy sane. Keep the boy sane. Keep the boy sane. I'm very tired. But anyway, here is more My Chemical Romance. Starting off with Howls of Wolves and... I bet this is going to be nothing like the Bring Me the Horizon song, House of Wolves. Here we go. Loving the toms. Reminds me of the Jungle Book in a way. I want to be like you. Before we go to the chorus, ah, again, MCR guitar tones are great. I love how this is kind of like a swing number in a way. It's great, and I love it. The top, like I said, drum tones are great. I'm loving the toms. The bass is sounds super good. I love the little up chucks from the guitar on the right side. Loving what the left guitar was doing too. So good, and Gerard's saying is great. Loving the harmonies. I love, firstly, loving the second verse, you play Ring Around the Ambulance till like, till like you never gave a care, and then the little Ash to Ashes does, does a bit. I love it's like a cult play on the Ring Around the Rosie thing, but I love specifically the thing he does in this with just that little tongue thing. It's great. I really dig this. I really do dig this. I know I said swing number earlier. Well, yes, it still reminds me of that. More so, Elvis. It's pop punk Elvis rather than swing. I mean, unless you think about the swing or move, movement of the 90s with bands such as Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. In that case, yeah, it's fine. But, ah, oh, it's good. It's, it's good. Ooh. 
I love this. I you actually really love this. Great guitar tone for the solo. Uh, love that. Love the use of the wah in there too. Ooh, I want to learn that. That is a cool solo. It's so good. Yeah, I'm not like that. Go over this here. Learn the solo. And just those bends up at the top. Great. Love, love, love that. Uh, genuinely between this week and last week. This I'm not okay. What was my favorite from last week? This one's a strong contender to actually become my favorite MCR song, if not a strong, strong second. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Now, for comparing Howl's a Wolf between this MCR and Bring Me the Horizon. There, you can't compare the two, but still, both are good. But, uh, absolutely love that. So now, we will move to sleep here. Let me go ahead and just pull up the thing on Spotify to get the lyrics up on the screen. Here we go. Ooh. Loving the piano. Loving just the chord changes. It's so good. Loving, sounds like octaves in the guitar bar there. Loving how just they go up to those higher notes. Here. Really cool. And the part that we're going to listen to after that. The piano line in the beginning reminded me of when it's first hit. A lot of Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue, which can be a big insult. But then it went into a huge way of, I was not expecting it, and I... Love the chord progression of the song already. Oh yeah, no, this is a great chord progression. I love the way he emphasized jolt and sympathy. Because this one's so good, true. I love that we just cut out there and like how his voice, Jared's voice, was doubled. Your dreams, a drink for the horror. It's like synthy guitar piano. Just one note is amazing. Ooh. Love how the drums were going with the vocal line there. Oh, 
does a great drum fill. Again, guitar tones, excellent. I just love the post chorus build. Return to the piano. It's so good. It's such a great piano tone, too. Before we, I ruin the build, I know, but we're going back here because there's so many things that I love in there, like just the, the palm mute, the guitars, and, and then just the individual drums, the kicks, and the stairs. Oh, it's all so good. I love it. Gerard's boys here. Just. Ooh! I spoke too soon because he got better. And the screams of Wake Up. Oh, it's so good. Love in the background. That's fun. We had no guitar. Like, everything in the song is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Bangers. The song is amazing. I love it. Ooh. Loving this guitar outro. Great, amazing, absolutely love that one too. They're also the, the these songs so good. These songs are so so good. No wonder why this is one of, if not the what does what does Spotify say is MCR's like most streamed album to Black Parade? Okay, yeah, no, I can definitely. Definitely see why, because uh, it's so so good, lyric lyric wise in sleep, and it's it's all good. Everything I love that they used this like voice memo, voice mail sort of thing for various parts of the song. It's so good, so so good. And also, I just have a thing for songs called sleep. Absolutely. Insane part of uh, so I'm a metalhead, and part of me wishes that the end with just sleep or wake up. Like, of course, Gerard was singing, like, using his amazing voice, but in my head, reading the lyrics and just hearing the build, I just kind of wanted like a just sleep, wake up, something like that, something like that. So, uh. Moral of the story, do not let me cover Sleep by M.C.R. But now we move to this thing that got recommended the most out of every single comment last week, which is Mama. So here we go. <laughs> what? So we get uh, like bombs, then just ooh da ooh da ooh da ooh da. Not expecting that. Okay. Mama, we all go to hell. Mama, we all go to hell. I'm writing this letter and wishing you well. Mama, we all go to hell. Okay. Oh, well, now mama, we're all gonna die. Mama, we're all gonna die. Stop asking me questions. I'd hate to see you cry. Mama, we're all gonna die. When we 
first, like, loving the pattern of the song so far, where it's kind of like, is blues adjacent? Where it just repeats the same lot that has an A, A, a B, then an A. And structure-wise. For example, going up here, Mama, we all go to hell. A, Mama, we all go to hell. A, B, I'm writing this letter. I'm right, or as he sings, I'm writing this letter and wishing you well. Oh, Mama, we all go to hell. So we had a B and another A. It's cool. Absolutely love it. Love, like, just the way he's accent using accents. And it's like, Using use the right this letter and stop asking me questions, kind of sort of thing. You know what I'm talking about. In asking me questions, I hate to see you cry. Hate to see you cry. That's it. MCR harmonies, just like it's ours. They're always good. I love the way the guitar ended in the chorus. Mama, we're meant for the flies. And right now they're building a coffin your size. Mama, we're all full of lies. My mother wants the water to my legs and to my tongue. You should have raised a baby girl. I should have been a better son. I cannot. I love how the vocals are doubled here and the cho the artistic choice of well not uh, what did the war do to my legs and to my tongue <laughs> as well as just regular Jordan singing on top of it i love it and it just goes back from left to right headphone Yeah, this is cool song too. Ooh. Bringing that first section back to ten. Okay, this song just went harder by going into ha this new feel with just this halftime. It just becomes this circusy song to Colossus Beast. To it's so good. And such a cool guitar riff, too. Oh, so that's supposed to be Mama here. But the shit that I've done with this rock of a girl, you would cry out to rise on love. We're done, love. This is a great song.
Jeez, what a wacky song, but I love it. Like, lyrically, oh, dark. Lyrically, super, super dark. Some good lyrics in there, too. But I love... Oh, that was good. I was sitting here thinking, like, all right, yeah, it's it's fine. Like, it's okay. I liked the songs last week, so for not a bit better. But then it just goes into this monolith second half. And I'm like, oh, that saved the song for me. Oh, it, it became, I need to learn this second half of the song. But, oh, ooh, amazing. I ju it's so good. So good. I am really enjoying this journey so far. And slowly, I am turning into an MCR fan. I'm finding the songs I like. Found at least one song that I'm like, yeah, no, definitely not for me. But insanely good. Absolutely love it. So I don't know where I want to take this journey next week into the MCR universe. Of course, uh, Black Parade, they still have so many songs that people have recommended me listen to, such as Dead, such as The End, such as Famous Last Words. However, do we go there or do we go all the way to the front of the discography? You know what? Here is my request. Or do we go to Danger Days? Where Na 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 is from? You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I didn't like Na Na Na. So I don't know if I will like the rest of Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Recommend me songs from there. Recommend me songs off of their 2010 album or the beginning of their discography. Who knows? Because we've got a little mix of everything in there. But I want to see if it's just this album I don't like or I was I picked a bad song with na 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 Gerard Way. Anyway, I'll see you all next week for part tres out of four. Goodbye. Good night. More importantly, have a good day. And I will see you later.